I see a lot of TikTok videos. A couple of lives. I jump in, jump out, come in, say what's up, come in and, you know, talk to you and all like that. But I'm I'm kind of a I'm I'm at a loss. So okay, take me from the beginning. Why are you not so in what? Why you first thing first? Why you not in the truck? Like what actually happened that forced you out of the truck? <clears throat> well, um, uh, I guess I can kind of say. Not much, not not particularly calculating all my moves. I would say. Wait, 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 wait! What? Try- I would say not calculating all my moves. Not count. Precisely. Not calculating all your moves. Yeah, not calculating all my moves precisely. Okay. Um, help me understand that. Like, what? Well, I, you know, I have moved out of my trailer to get away from my ex or whatever. And I moved back to my grandma house. <clears throat> and the uh, ride from my grandma house to the truck was a little bit, uh, almost three and a half, almost four hours for me to get to work. So I started looking for a job closer. Now, remember, I was telling you that, I, you know, my PSP was kind of messed up. Remember that? I ended up getting a lot of violations from one night going in the way station. So that added to my problem. So and what what, what, vi- what violations are we talking about? I mean, or are this like, are this like not doing pre-trip or... Well, what what kind of violations are we talking about here? Because I I can understand maybe one or one, you know maybe one at the least. But what what, well, what are we talking about? I had, well, the ones from the one my very last uh, inspection was totally bogus. Like I ended up getting seventeen violations for no reason. Seven. Well, it was only supposed to be one. Yeah. How is it possible for a truck driver to get seventeen violations in one setting? When you have a when you have a nasty DOT officer. Yeah. So my tire ended up getting. Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm 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 gonna have to stop you, Cambria. Seventeen okay. violations in one setting. Mm-hmm. And you said because of a nasty DOT officer. I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna have to play devil's advocate with you. That's that's you not doing your pre trip. Uh, the only thing that happened was a nail got stuck in my tire. Oh, okay. So a nail getting stuck in your tire translates into seventeen violations. Okay, and if you and if you let me finish, uh, okay. if you let me finish, I'll tell you. Okay, okay, okay. So, like I said, ended up with a I ended up with a nail in my tire. On the way to drop my load off in Atlanta, I was going to go to Love to get them to change it. Now, like I said, I stopped before I got to Love, 
Anywho, I did, well, I handed the man my phone. He asked me for the, he asked me for the paperwork for the, um, for the ELD. I gave it to him. He said, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, but so wait, 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 hold up, wait. I'm, yeah. You, 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 you know you. Ugh. Anyway, anywho, first he asked you, for you, the you, 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 you gave him your phone. Why would you give him your phone for? Because he wanted to see my log, and he told me to send him my log, so I did. Okay, so what? Your logs is on your phone? Uh huh. Okay, so you, why you couldn't just send him your logs from your phone? Why would you give your phone to the DOT officer? You? Why would you do that? I did it. I sent him. See, that's why I said, if you hush, I'll tell you. If you hush, I'll tell you. I'll answer all your questions. He told me to send him my log, so I did. Now, he asked me that I send him my log. I said I did. He said, I didn't even tell you what to send him to. Just hand me the phone. So, I said, okay. So, he goes and sends them to himself again. Now, now, before he even said anything of that nature, he didn't say, are all your laws correct? You, um, you, do you need to look for your laws first before you send them? None of that. I said, no. I mean, I mean, he did not ask me any of that. So when he sent the laws to himself, Again, I in turn went in the box for the ELD, like I said, because he asked me for the paperwork. I gave him the card of how to send. You know the little paper. You know the little paperwork that be in the box about how do you, how you send the paperwork to the um to the DOT and all that. Okay. So I what, gave him the card. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Um, my head hurt. Listen, hold hold up, hold up, wait, wait. Number one, why would you give the DOT officer all of that? Shouldn't you all? Shouldn't you know how to send your laws and everything? You should have did that. I did. I just say you. I said I'm doing. Yeah, but I'm just saying you. You. You just said that you was you. You gave the paperwork to the the DOT officer to send the laws to himself. You should have did that. You should have went on your head and said, hold on, officer. Are you not? Okay, so, okay, so apparently you're not listening to anything that I'm saying. You just, apparently. but you just said that. Because I, I sent them to him. Oh, okay. He, oh, okay. I said I sent them to him. Okay. He said, did you send them? I said, yes, sir, I did. I sent them to you. Then he said, in turn, you don't even know where you're supposed to send them to. I said, sir, I just sent them. To you, like you asked, he said, "Hand me the phone. I'll do it myself." Okay, see right there, you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have gave him the phone. You don't do that. Just ask him where he wants you to send it to. That's all. Just say, "Hey, sir, officer. I know this is past tense, but I'm just saying. Next time, just be like, officer." You know, just give me the, the just give me the place you want me to send it to, and I'll send it to him, just like that. Okay, so fast forward from the the, the phone issue and everything. Seven, fast forward the seventeen violations. Yeah, he uh, gave me he gave me a violation for every day that was not um what what, what, what I can't um I can't remember the word every day that I think I'm just gonna say like confined or whatnot. Now mind you, mm -hmm. that week before I was home, quarantine, 
because everybody at my job had COVID. And you could clearly see on my laws that it said I'll do it in the note. It said home quarantine due to COVID. Okay. So okay. okay. So, so he he trying to hit you with the HOS violations, pretty much. Yeah, he gave me seventeen uh, HOS violations. Okay, so long story short, he he hit you with seventeen HOS violations. Okay, so mm-hmm. all right, so with with that out the way, with that out the way, what that has to do what so what happened? Your 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 company terminated you or what? No, oh, no, no, no. Um, I was I had gotten a call. I want to say earlier that week, the lady that I was looking for a job for close to the home, she was like, "Well, your points roll off." I never forget it. Feel like your points roll off on the twenty second. Go ahead, put in the application. You'll be getting started on Monday. So, before it's your points to roll off, I said, okay, bitch. Now, during this time, you know, I had started reading the Bible more and, you know, trying to get right with the Lord, really. Uh, Honestly uh, and truth. Uh, uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, Let me finish. Uh, Hold on. Uh, Let me finish. Uh, okay. So, it was a Friday. And I had to get my break line redone. So I tell my supervisor, whatever, you know, I need to get my break line done. She asked me, it's the other truck there. Now, mind you, one of my coworkers had passed away at this point. Now, knowing that, you know, I was telling her, you know, I got a four-hour ride home now. You know, I want to try to be home a little earlier so that, you know, I won't be getting home at 6 o'clock in the morning, which is exactly what time I got home that night. Or maybe 4 o'clock. Yeah, I think I made it. I think I pulled in the drive about 4 o'clock that morning. But anywho, before that, um, I was like, you know, she told me to go take the other truck and trailer to get inspections on it. Now, there was a three-hour wait. Can, can, or whatnot. Oh, can, huh? can, can, can breathe. Oh, huh? can, can, yeah. can breathe. Can breathe. Can breathe. Oh. Do you want to hear the story or not? Because I'm sorry you interrupted me. Well, look, man, I mean, I, I want to hear the story, man, but I mean, I, you don't have to take me all the way around the world with it. <laughs> you know, all you got to do is just, just, just like come to, like, give me the cliff notes. You know, you don't have to. Okay. You know, I don't need to know about a co-worker dying and all like that. I don't need to know all of that. All I just need to know is... I you yeah, 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 we, we don't need to know all of that. All we need to know is wh- okay. uh, how come okay. you're not in the truck? Okay. Uh, okay. Anywho. So, I was getting ready to start another job that Monday. So, I was like, okay, well, I'll put in my two weeks notice. So, um... Basically, that day, I was, I was, basically that day, I was um, waiting to get the truck done, and I was to get home at a decent time, and she said something about me, she asked me what I said, and I told her I was talking to the Lord, she was like, well, you need to pray to your Lord on your days out, I don't need to hear that. So that was another reason why I didn't want to be there no more. Okay. Um, okay. So you talking about? Uh, okay. So you you haven't you 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 haven't. So the cliff notes here is you have an issue with your with your present company. You're trying to get up out of there. You look for another company. You was all you 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 already got the paperwork already done. You need to dot the i's, cross the t's. What happened? Mm-hmm. What what happened with the present company? You're done with. So we're we're finished with that one. You're on to the yeah. next company, but the, the that company didn't bring you on. Why? Because something she said something about um I 
something about my something about my violations, but like I told them, like y'all just said, I was waiting for my my violations to roll off, and the violations that that I had received the day before wasn't gonna hit my PSP until 30, 30, 30, 45 days later. So I knew that wasn't the problem. They still talking about well, um, the conviction that I had in two thousand eighteen is still a problem. So I was like, well forget it. Then, um, basically, yeah. Okay. So I was okay. and then I was so- I got told it. So yeah, no way to get to work. No job. Okay. So that's 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 what that's that's what's up. Okay, okay. So the company or the, the, the trucking company uh didn't bring you on because of your violations on your PSP, right? Not not on your deck. They just they looked at the PSP and seeing that you had to No, many- at that point PSP was fine. They were still looking at the fact of my reckless driving conviction date. Okay, so they was looking at your MVR as well. So because of the because of the issues on your MVR and on your on your PSP, that's why when they they told me was not going to be a problem anymore because they only do two. Years. But of but of course you know that's either here nor there. Company recruiters say that shit all the time. They they'll turn around and be like, oh well, that's not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem, this, that, and the third. And then when you get there, you know, you come to find out from, you know, safety, oh, well, that is a problem and we can't bring you on. So, you know, that's... that's no, the lady from safety told me that. But that's what, I'm, that's what I just said. You know, your recruiter could turn around and tell you one thing, but your safety, the safety department of the company that you're applying for could say another. So, yeah, sometimes... No, said that they only look at two years and they look at the charge date, which is 2015. The lady from safety said that. Okay. Well, I obviously, I obviously she, she told you one thing and turned around and did another. Okay. Okay. So that's the re so that's, pretty much the reason why you're you're not in the truck are you are you making are are, are you doing anything now to see if you can rectify all that or are you doing anything to, to to see if you can get back into a truck like go to place like western express because i know they'll i know they'll bring you on with no problem it's just see, that the money is going to be right i can tell you that right now. <clears throat> As far as OCR, I'm not I'm not doing OCR no more because I have family situation. Oh, okay. So I need push butts to be lo- I I need to be local. So I'm no I'm not doing anybody OCR. Um, I gotta be able to come back home every day because of my family issues right now. Well, why not look into why not look into temporary? Uh, there's temporary trucking companies, or tr- uh, trucking companies, temporary companies that offer uh, driving positions. But I, I went so far into the garbage truck. Oh, okay. I went to yard job. I went to um. I put the application for yard job. They said no. Um, had an interview for waste management. I didn't get picked for them. I did another yard job, didn't get picked for that. Uh, so yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I guess uh, I guess the saying ain't true. You have your CDLs and you'll be able to get any job. Here you are, got your CDLs and you can't even get you can't even get a yard jockey job. That's it's crazy. What what was what was what was one of the what was one of the reasons why the yard jockey didn't bring you on? What would they say? They said they go back two years because of your record. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. They said they go back two years. 
because of your record. So they going back two years on on your ten years, ten years on your mm -hmm. on your record. Mm -hmm. So when it clearly says on ten Street, they go back five. Wow. I'm, I'm I'm sorry that you uh that 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 you struggling uh Cambria I didn't I didn't realize that uh that 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 you were struggling like that I mean I I just thought that you I I just thought that uh you just choose not to get in the truck but wow so how are you in the process of getting your record clean like. Or you just have to wait it out. I just have to wait it out. Well, if that's the case, then more power to you, man. Like I said, I see you on TikTok all the time, so you know, I always, you know, I always jump in there and mess with you on TikTok and all like that. Um, I don't even fuck with TikTok like that, you know. But, uh, but yeah, man, more power. I, wow. That's uh, that's crazy, man. That's, whew. uh, all right. Well, that's what's up, man. Uh, like I said, I I got you in my prayers. You know what I'm saying, and uh, and I hope everything works out for you. Uh, as far as you know, getting back in the truck. Do you? The question. Here's a question. Do you want to get back in the truck? That's the question. I mean, I'm going to get back in there eventually, you know, once everything calm down, you know, cool down, whatever. Um, my, uh, come July, <clears throat> come July, for the most part, I won't have to worry about the record driving being held over my head ever again. Because it will finally be July 25th of this year, Lord allow me to see it, will make five years what? from my reckless driving conviction. Now, and is that is that reckless driving in the truck or that was reckless driving in the car? In the car. Oh, that was reckless driving in the car. Oh, okay. Not, not in the truck. So. Actually, that was bogus too. Because I wasn't even uh, oh, in my oh, car. Okay, we, 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 we don't even have to go down memory lane on but that anyway, one. But anyway, that's the end of